Next time, tell your little punk little brother to stay out of my face and leave me alone when I say so. Oh, but you won't do the same to me, though. He eventually smacked my glasses off my face because he was really about to show how hard he was. You got it, girl, you got it. YouTube, it's me. I'm back. I'm here and I am alive. My fault for taking so long to post another video, but that's my fault. I just been so busy with going to the gym, family business. I'm sure trying to figure out how I'm gonna. Just... I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna put this YouTube in my life schedule. So, my apologies if I take too long, if I take weeks, if I take a month. My fault. I'm sorry. Just know I'm trying, alright? So, with that being said, if you're already new to this channel, if you're like, please, you <laughs> So, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and turn my post notifications on. That way you'll know when I post my next videos. That way you can stay updated. I still got this crook in my neck, no cap. Ugh. Anyway, if you came because of the title, we put it like Samira. A fight. Who? Huh? It happened, I promise. I, yeah. Uh, but for privacy's sake, I'm not going to say his name or whatever, because at the end of the day, I still respect his rights. I'm not going to expose him like that. <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna totally like keep it. <sighs> Let's go ahead and get straight into the details. No, no games, no games. So this occurred in middle school, and I was in eighth grade at the time, and he was in sixth grade. Now, time out, time out. I know what y'all are thinking. Samir, you can't do that. He's just a little kid. Samir, he was in sixth grade. He didn't know any better. That's not fair. Man, shut up. I don't want to hear that. I, I'm just saying I have my right and baby bro. Mm. Mm, Alright? So I'm going to get that out the way. He had his whole advantage. He was totally by my height. He was twice my size and width. So he was a heavy set dude. You hear me? He has no excuse. So this day, like this is this occurred on the last week of school where everybody's tight or whatever. This day, I was so mad. Like I just had this attitude. I just I didn't want to be there. Every day, my bus had this thing where like it would be late every day. Ah, right, you probably thinking, oh, I was just five. No, bro, this bus was late a, a, a whole hour. Sometimes even two hours. Everybody has to sit in the cafeteria wait till the bus gets there. I decided to sit by myself because I was just like I didn't want to be bothered because who who wants to be around people when you're not in a good mood. Nemo had this brother, right? And typically we would be cool or whatever. He cool. He was cool to be honest. Oh, goofy time and stuff like that with the shenanigans. I'm like, no, bro. I'm not in a good. I'm not in a good mood. You might want to move away from me. I'm being serious. I had to give him a warning. Like, Hello. He just kept thinking it was. I was joking over there. I'm like, bro, move away from me. I'm not in the mood. You feel me? So then he's like, he keeps going. I'm like, bro, get away from. Me. I smacked him, but. You can kind of say it was on purpose, but not really. Like, I don't know why he was so close to my personal space anyway for me to do like that and smack. Like, back up, my guy. I need room to breathe. He moved away because he figured out I was not playing them games today. I'm I'm so tired at this point. I'm so irritated because I'm like, why is this little kid keep talking to me? You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to go home. I get on the bus. The bus finally gets here with her sweet old ticking time. And I'm like, bro, finally, I get to go home. Because I'm the first stop. So my bus ride is only like 10 minutes. You feel me? Well, so I'm on the bus. You know what I'm saying? And Nemo's brother decides to tell Nemo that I smacked him. Nemo, big body, base old self, decides to talk to me like he finna do something. Like, oh, well, why you smacked my brother? I'm like, I told him to get out of my face. And my personal space, first of all, which means I have nothing to do with that. Next time, tell your little punk little brother to stay out of my face and leave me alone when I say so. So here, we can go argue. Like we get to go on da, 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 da. Then he starts to saying some slick stuff. Oh, but you won't do the same to me though. Who won't say it? Who won't? Who won't? Hello, you not know who I am. But then you know what I'm saying it eventually caused me to get in his face. I was like, I hope he's slotting, bro. So we're arguing, you feel me? The bunch of us like, hey, y'all need to sit down, y'all need to cut all that racket out back there. He eventually smacked my glasses off my face because he was really about to show how hard he was. And when he smacked my glasses off my face, before my glasses even hit the floor, I went in on his face so bad. I was just going so fast. It was just blowing my mind. I would have that terrible gas in me, but I was like, what the fuck? I was not playing games that day, so he got the works, you know. But he had his hands up like this, you feel me? I'm like, bro, move your hands. Let me get that face. Pause. Whoa. Seriously, pause. Like, move that damn hand up the way. I'm trying to get I'm trying to get in. So then my bus stop eventually gets there. I'm like, whoo, boy, you better be lucky I need that third stop. So it's time for me to get off. The bus stop is like, man, what's, what's going on back there? What, what are y'all doing? I'm like, well, he slapped my bus stop my face, so I, 
you watch that camera so then she was like what's your name what's his name because you know she had to go through the process we're like okay i'm gonna have to write y'all love but i need your information we grade you in what's your name stuff like that i was like man i don't care write me up i don't care when i got home i immediately told my parents because i was like i might as well tell them like I don't know if they were gonna call my parents or whatever, so I might as well get my get off my chest. I had to be completely honest because I can't lie because I don't know what's gonna happen. So I, I was completely honest with them, and they kind of laughed it off to me because I won't go get in the show because he slapped my glasses off my face. So, and I've been taught, my parents taught me, if somebody hits me, I have all rights to hit them back, and that's what I did. So. Yeah, and then I kind of got upstairs. I kind of thought about it. I, not that I regretted it because I, I could care less, but she's like, bro, this could possibly interfere with me playing in the, in the student versus staff game. Student versus staff game is a, is a day of the whole year where the middle schools get to play against the teacher and the high schools get to play against the teachers as well. The next day, oh my God, I woke up that morning, boy. I was trying to hurry to get to school, you feel me? I was like, I had to go tell the, uh, I didn't have to, but I chose to. I chose to tell the assistant principal immediately because I didn't know how my day was going to go out. So I, I had to tell him, talk to him and say, he was like, thank you for being honest with me, you know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, no problem. And then I was like, it's just going to interfere with me playing in the game. Like, yeah, it possibly could. He was like, I haven't heard anything from the bus driver this morning, so you could be lucky. I was like, all right, thank you. He was like, yeah, have a good day. I'm about my day, you know what I'm saying? I'm chill or whatever. The time for the game comes. I uh, you know, on the announcements, they're like, okay, on um, middle schoolers who are playing in the Tudor versus staff game could go ahead and go to the gym, get warmed up. On my way, I see this fat, big old bubba right here, and he, once he sees me, I'm not making this up. He runs the opposite way from me. Like, he runs. I'm just like, like I thought. At least you're getting exercise. All right? So, I'm on the way to the gym. I'm getting hyped for this game. I'm like, uh, you feel me? So, I go through the game, you know what I'm saying? And I do pretty good. I can't remember how much I scored, but I don't know. It was a pretty good game to me. You know, we had the music going. It was cool. It was, it was all good vibes at the moment. So I go through the rest of the day. I don't get a, I don't get called to the office. Called home. You feel me? I'm, I, I'm chilling. I'm enjoying my last day. That was my last day of school right there. Yeah. That, that's pretty much how that story ended. Like, turns out I didn't get suspended. They didn't call my parents, and everything was just chill. So. Uh, you can kind of call it like a happy ending or whatever, but it was interesting because it was just like that was my first fight. Like, oh my god, <laughs> it was just weird because I, I'm a good, I'm a good kid. I'm a fight. I, mean, I don't have, I've never got suspended after school detention. None of that. I've always been a good kid, I mean, good kid. So, uh, clean resume. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the end of that story. It, it, it happened. It's true, 100 true. Um, to this day, I do not talk to neither of them actually. And it is what it is, you feel me? <laughs> but if you haven't already, uh, please subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and make sure you turn on my post notifications. That way you'll know when I post my next video. You can stay updated with the cool stuff. So, with that being said, I'm about to log off because that's all I gotta say. If you enjoyed this video, that's cool. If more, give me more ideas. This is kinda cool. <laughs> so, with that being said, I'm out. Got that 9B. Number 19, what the